Hi everybody, Dacrop here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be an interesting story again. Now, oh my god, where to begin? Um, <clears throat> March the 13th, Friday the 13th, right? That was the date that I bought uh, the mini, the extra mini chevron uh, flap from Chanel. And it had some defects on it, so I brought it back. Then I got, got it, I, I got the same model. You know, black lambskin with gold hardware, again. Um, then, you know, I'd received the news that there's going to be a markup and, you know, prices are going to hell uh, with Chanel. So I was like, okay, so now maybe, uh, God, let me think what to do. So I guess it was time to make that big investment. So you've seen the unboxing. Basically what I did is I brought back then again the Chevron because that was then just all too much and I just wanted more classic and I wanted to finally get the double flap and get the original classic Chanel plus I wanted the wallet on chain which I'm wearing today by the way as my necklace love it anyway um, so you've seen the unboxing I made of the wallet on chain and the double flap lambskin model AO 1113 the smallest one that they produce before the you know before you go down a notch and call it a mini so it was a small double flap in lambskin, black with gold hardware. So really happy with that. I unboxed it, but then I start noticing like, wait a minute, it's a little bit tilted. Made in France. So, you know, I've been reading on many forums, you know, the Made in Italy, Made in France. I still am, as far as Made in France goes, I want the Made in France. I've seen Italian bags, both mini chevrons were made in Italy. One of them had a flaw. So the extra mini chevrons, I mean. So it doesn't mean anything. Everything could have a flaw. But uh, anyway, so I noticed that my flap had like a little, it was just a little bit, you know, off. And then what, it, what happened was by really inspecting it, I noticed, oh, the reason why it doesn't want to stay straight is because the, the double C um, lock, and, you know, the, the part of, of, you know, the lock is on, on a bit of leather. So it was just like half a centimeter to like the left instead of to the right or to the right instead of to the left. And anyway, that caused the back to kind of have like that slight tilt drove me crazy. I could not handle it. I'm a person that like sees lines everywhere. To me, structure is so important. I couldn't handle it. Plus, you know, I was like, ah, <laughs> you know, as much as I love lambskin, I also love caviar. And, um, you know, and I was thinking, I mean, I love lambskin so much, but it, what, what, what you know, ugh, whatever. So I didn't know what to do. So, um, to make a really much longer story a bit shorter because there's a lot more to say, but I'm not going to say everything or not just yet. Um, you know, I finally ended up today uh, going back to my Chanel boutique and I was, I was talking to my essay. I was like, I know you're going to hate me. This is all a huge fucking mess. I'm so sorry, but like, I just can't handle this bag. Like, do you have another one? She's like, well, you know, we received news that they will be discontinued. So it's like, really hard. I don't think we're going to, you know, even if we send it off to Chanel and then we might not get a new one back and, you know, the markup is coming and then you might have to pay like the difference for another bag. And I said, but even though my bag is like, um, defect because I mean, what? No, not, you know what? No, no, none of this actually, none of this, because it is defect because I know they're handmade and whatever you want, but if you shift that little you know, leather thing with the double C's, just half a millimeter to one side, you cannot have the straight cut shape of the clasp covering up, you know, the flap covering up the bag. It's like slightly shifted. It doesn't work for me. So none of this, the bag is defect, but she said, but you know, Chanel could, you know, tell us, no, that's not a, we don't see that as a flaw. So I'm like, oh God, what to do? Do you have another one in lambskin? She's like, maybe when silver hardware, or like no silver hardware, no silver hardware, only gold, <laughs> like a robot, gold, gold. So she says, well, you know, we have um, a lambskin. Uh, we have a um, caviar uh, leather version with gold hardware, your size, your bag. I'm like, really? Because I asked for it last time I was here, I wanted to see both to compare them and you didn't have it. She's like, no, it just came in and it's, it's the only one. And I'm like, give it to me now. <laughs> so took out my, you know, my lambskin, which I was ready to bring back. She brought the caviar and, you know, comparing them side by side, tried them on both. And I actually really have to say, I love the caviar. 
And I was like, huh. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was destiny that I have to come back. Or that I, you know, gather the guts to come back and bother these poor ladies again. Because they're so sweet and so kind. And so, so, so gentle. And anyway, they were really nice to me. They're like, yeah, sure, you know. And uh, so I have exchanged it. I mean, I just, you know, brought mine like that back and they just wrapped it up for me again. I exchanged my lambskin for the uh, caviar. So let's do another unboxing. <laughs> this is insane, guys. Um, wait, do you see it? Do you see the flowers? <laughs> it's insane. Anyway, uh, it makes me laugh. But so um, let's... Let's take this off and um, hope for the best, you know, because another one of the problems while we're at it, let me tell you, and I'm, I'm unboxing this thing while we're talking, um, you know, the thing is you see the Chanel bags in the store, right? And they have the security tag on them and that kind of, you know, makes them change shape anyway because the security tag depending on where they put it is, is tilted to one side or the other so the bag can change shape so but you decide for a bag and then they take it to the back they take the security tags off they wrap it up pack it and then you don't really see the bag without any security tags until you don't come home so it's really hard to kind of figure out what you want so this is really fun so i got my bill again i have like i have like two papers now it's like becoming like a book with the exchange and everything because the wallet and chain is on the bill as well so they had to like cross over one bag make a bill for the exchange for another bag anyway so this is my little booklet now this is i'm i'm opening this as we speak so let me just check that they did this yes they have changed all right they have changed the date on my certificate my authenticity certificate that's really nice of them so I have a new certificate here with my new code. Oh, let me see what's the code of my bag, by the way. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Numerology important. I'm going to have to figure out the number of my bag. <laughs> and here we are. This is the little baby. Oh, the gold hardware. Um, okay. Ah. And she's straight and everything is good on her, hopefully. When they when they pack her up for you, they, you know, put the chain in. They should they should really stop doing that. <laughs> like I really don't oh whatever. Okay, let me take it out. Just to be sure we're doing everything. Alright. Ah, perfection. She's straight, the, you know, the, the top, the little bits here are symmetric. I mean, at this point, you, you never know, you know, like made in France, made in Italy, it's all the same. So, now this is the caviar version, which is adorable. Now I have, oh, and of course. It's made in France. Which is, I'm still, look, I've been reading my, my way through forums and um, there's a huge debate. People are really like considering, you know, wh what is better? I mean, made in Italy, made in France, or for small other goods made in Spain. I have to say, a couple of small other goods uh, that I have purchased that are made in Spain are great. Uh, made in Italy, small other goods, I do not have. I mean, this is not a small other good, but it comes, it's the closest it gets a small other good. It's made in France. It's perfection. I'm wearing it already, and it's just, it's, it's great. Um, however, these classics, um, to me, they have to be made in France. I, I just can't get myself away from, from it not being made in France. But anyway... That's just my, my, my thing. Um, it's not overly puffy. I know that some people uh, love the puffiness of, um, of the caviar kilted bags and a lot of people prefer to have, you know, the made in Italy ones because they appear to be puffier. Same goes for the wallet on chain. I, I personally find it much more elegant, like, to have it. I mean, even if you go onto the Chanel website and you check out this particular model, 
right now in spring summer 15 it pops up in red but it gives you on the sidebar you could choose like other colors they are like this flat that's actually intentional um, so it's a question of taste I'm I had I had both in my hand the puffier one and the flatter one I opted for the flatter one I I kind of like it like this it's more I mean it's extremely soft when you when you squish it but um, I don't want to over puff it I don't know to me this looks more clean and sleek however the bag is a bit more puffy that that's that's a fact yeah this caviar is a bit more puffy I've also you know people are discussing caviar made in Italy versus caviar made in France it is you know I have the uh, GST extra large made in Italy um, the caviar is similar if not the same softness this one is maybe just a tad bit drier like in its reverence you know in its totality but this was an unboxing so let's not get into a review because I will do a review <laughs> if I don't you know find some other stuff reasons to you know go back but I mean it's impossible now it's like getting so tight with the markup that uh, in fact they told me we they could we could either send it in Chanel might say this is not a flaw for us you know it's a handmade bag it might be a little bit tilted whatever I'm like no fucking way it can't be a little bit tilted if on the website you're showing the bag perfect the photo of the bag on the website is perfect and I'm purchasing on full price that is not the same way that it looks on the website then it's not perfect so I don't want to run that risk of them saying no or to run the risk of them sending back a new bag and seeing you have to pay the difference of the markup which is also insane because that would also mean that they did not accept uh, the fact that uh, the bag was uh, had a flaw in the, in, the, in the first place so they told me you know these are your options or you get store credit which is also crazy because the store there's a markup coming you're gonna lose money store credit makes no sense so it's very very tricky but then as I said as the, the news arrived that they have uh, a caviar I was I was happy I was like well that's what I was asking for in the first place a couple of days ago I mean I wanted to see both I wasn't sure yet which one to, to get but um, yes this is more robust yes the leather is cheaper than the lambskin um, but at the same time I I don't know it, it's hard you know it's hard to make a decision like that because um, both versions have virtues like pros and contras and I'm gonna get to that in a video pretty soon but um, to me you know there was almost like there's no there's like no doubt about it that the second that she said oh we got in the caviar in the size you want with gold hardware I was like okay that's it that's my bag so let me just see it that it's all perfect that there's no flaws in it it's symmetrical you know um, and that was that was it <laughs> it was as simple as that so um, last thing to show you yeah you can't really see on this bag it's a different um, it's like this how to how to explain this to you guys like this was basically not centered like it is here but it was like a bit off you know it was like more there rather than being in the middle like it is here and and that caused the bag to kind of sit slightly like yeah you can't do it this one because well anyway so if you would take this off so and you would try to put it back on it would be like a little bit shifted and then you would have to do this you know to close it so with this one it's perfect it just falls on itself on the right space yeah that was that was the issue the issue with the bag so thank you guys so much for watching I don't know anymore what unboxing the fifth unboxing thank you for bearing with me this was a Chanel Odyssey but we learned a lot from this I hope um, hope to see you all very soon give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it leave me comments in the comment section below and subscribe to my videos because uh, you know I would love for the community to grow and thank you so much for everybody who subscribed till now thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and um, as I was saying before, there's another giveaway coming up soon, saying in another video, so stay tuned for that. Aha, it's going to be a surprise. Take care, everybody. Bye. Forgot one thing. Uh, they were so nice to me. They were like, you know, and 
I don't know, they were like, oh, we're so sorry for this, you know, complication. I'm like, no, it's fine. I, I love it. And, uh, and they gave me a little Misia. So I, I really want to get this perfume because it's so, so, uh, there it is. Um, it just smells so divine. So I'm thinking of one day, you know, maybe getting this little baby. Anyway, so that, that was how sweet they were. So Chanel has its really great moments too. Take care, everybody. Bye.